Welcome back everyone to another second symbols package and second symbols check update. Today is Wednesday, December 9th and I should say your evening stimulus check update. I did my morning update earlier this morning, the wee hours of the morning. Finally got some sleep in for you guys and here is your evening update as promised. If you didn't see the morning one yet, the link will be down below in the description, but you could watch this one if you haven't seen that one just yet. So what I want to do in this update is discuss and analyze whether or not the prospects of your stimulus check could look like now $600. Maybe you will get that $1,200 or will you end up with nothing? And I also want to clarify further the White House proposal that was put forth by Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. So before we commence this next stimulus package update, if you have been enjoying my content, as always, you know the protocol, you know the formality. Go ahead, just give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button, I would appreciate that for all the effort that I'm putting out for you guys. Sometimes I put out multiple videos a day now, so if you have been getting value out of my content, just go ahead and smash the like button. And if you're not already, always hit that subscribe button, hit that big red button. Also hit the notification bell as well, that way you're notified every single time I do make a new video and you'll be first in line to see it before anyone else. I post videos now for you guys every single solitary day. No exceptions, no excuses. So although the vaccine is currently being distributed and is underway as we speak, the big question is, will lawmakers pass another stimulus check to aid Americans during this financial crunch time? And as a matter of fact, if you do look at the numbers, and I've actually covered this months ago, I actually took a look, did stimulus checks help Americans? Did it, in fact, buoy the economy? And the answer was yes. Stimulus checks did keep millions of Americans from falling into absolute despair, and in fact, did keep the economy afloat. So we need more direct payments. The question is, will lawmakers pass in time for the holidays because Congress is about to adjourn for this Christmas season. So in an attempt to strike a deal, we had an official statement from Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin be sent to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And this was a brand new proposal, a brand new idea, but it's actually very similar in price tag to the bipartisan proposal that was put forth by the Problem Solvers Caucus and other centrist moderate members of the Senate. It's quite the vice versa, the antithesis of that bipartisan proposal. The bipartisan proposal was $908 billion and it would leave out direct payments to Americans, but it would help jobless workers with an additional $300 in unemployment benefits at the federal level. But the proposal we saw come from Steven Mnuchin on December 8th would actually cut back on stimulus checks, so not the normal number of $1,200. It would cut it in half, shave it completely to $600 per person, $1,200 for couples, but it would leave out unemployment benefits for millions and millions of Americans. Now this proposal from the Treasury Secretary didn't totally disregard unemployment benefits. It would in fact extend other types of unemployment provisions that are set to expire at the end of this year. As we know the CARES Act that was passed back in March, the $2.2 trillion proposal, that sent out $1,200 to most Americans who are eligible as well as also called for $600 in supplemental unemployment benefits that expired at the end of July. And then President Trump put pen to paper, signed a series of executive orders and executive memorandums, one of them being on unemployment benefits that temporarily extended the benefits as $300 per week, but that has since long dried up. Top Democrats were quick to dismiss this idea. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said in a joint statement, quote, the president's proposal must not be allowed to obstruct the bipartisan congressional talks that are underway. And they called the cuts to unemployment insurance benefits from a proposed $180 billion to $40 billion, quote, unacceptable. So Democrats did not like this idea. They were not with it. As far as Mnuchin's plan to pay for this proposal, he would actually use unpurposed and unused funds. We have $429 billion in funds from earlier legislation and he would also use unspent funds from a previous popular federal program for small businesses that lapsed this year. So, in fact, a lot of the money that Mnuchin would spend is not additional money. We already have that money sitting in some kind of a cave. Former Democratic candidate and current sitting senator of Vermont, Bernie Sanders, also contributed to the conversation surrounding stimulus. He also discussed, as I talked about in this morning's update, the idea of taxing the wealthy and using the Trump tax cut and actually reversing it in order to cover stimulus and aid Americans. He tweeted and also sent out a video from himself yesterday on Twitter 
And he went on to say, quote, if Congress can afford to give giant subsidies to the fossil fuel industry and a $1 trillion tax break to the top 1%, then we can afford $1,200 direct payments to every working class adult in America. Hashtag people's bailout. Millions of households are in the dark regarding financial aid. And as the winter is approaching, their financial pictures are looking even more dim and grim as COVID cases are skyrocketing and spiraling out of control all across America. In fact, according to a survey from TransUnion, it was found that at the end of November, more consumers said they were feeling a financial impact from the COVID-19 crisis, reaching almost 6 in 10 people and representing the second consecutive monthly increase of hardship. And we also saw job growth and the U.S. also slowed sharply in November, raising concerns that the economic recovery is losing steam. So ideally, we would get $1,200 direct payments sent out to Americans once again. However, a lot of people are saying that that will not be enough, by any means that is, because a restaurant owner, Stephanie Bonin, in a Change.org petition, called for Congress to provide people with $2,000 per month. That rings a bell because months and months ago, right after the CARES Act was passed, there were all these calls from members of Congress and members of the Senate to provide thousands of dollars a month in stimulus to Americans. In that petition, she had said, quote, as we near the end of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic rages on, and so do the economic consequences. Quote, my small business is suffering and my family is afraid, and I know I'm not alone. And it's received nearly 2 million signatures already. And in an interesting analysis, the Treasury Secretary's plan actually offers both good and bad news. It actually bodes well, and it doesn't at the same time. According to Height Securities analyst Hunter Hammond, he had actually expressed that on one hand, it suggests that the Trump administration is willing to discuss a larger stimulus package, which is true. The negotiations are ongoing and progressing. But it also muddles the waters for earlier negotiations on the bipartisan $908 billion plan. But it also heightens, quote, the push for direct payments. He had said in a research note, quote, We expect all sides will continue to negotiate and make offers, but investors should not expect a final deal if one is reached until the end of the week. That's better than no stimulus deal at all by the end of this year. But as we do get closer to the holidays, it becomes more and more of a crunch time and the window of time tightens. In Hammond's analysis, he did expect lawmakers, they are likely to agree on funding for supplemental unemployment aid, which will expire on December 26th for some 12 million jobless workers. So definitely good news in regards to unemployment, according to his analysis. This has also been reflected on Wall Street as a whole. At one point, the odds of stimulus passing this month were as high as 75%. And the stock market has been rising pretty consistently in the last couple of weeks. So Wall Street does expect stimulus to pass this month, but what's included remains to be seen. It is a shame we have to sacrifice and pick and choose, like between best friends. You have to pick and choose between stimulus and unemployment benefits when most Americans and millions and millions of Americans right now could truly utilize both. I read your guys' comments. I take the time to read every single one of them. I know some of you have worse circumstances than others, and I totally understand that we truly need stimulus checks, but we also need those unemployment benefits. It will help so many people. If you did have to choose, if you had to sacrifice one of them, which one would you sacrifice? Would you rather stimulus checks or unemployment benefits? Just curious. Let's do a poll down below in the comments. But that will wrap up tonight's stimulus check update. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content I have been providing, go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button, and if you haven't already, hit that big red button, the subscribe button, also with the notification bell as well. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video.